Hi, my name is Silas. I'm one of the JBNA sales engineers and the resident bird dog guy. The Play is a wonderful little decoder that can fit in almost any application for an extremely low cost. A question that we often see online and often hear in person as well, how do you assign sources for the Play? In this video, we will explore the different ways that this can be accomplished. Now, before we get into the video, I wanna mention that powering the Play is extremely important. Although the Play has USB-C for power, not all USB power sources and cables are created equally. For the Play to be working properly, you should see a solid green light. If you see flashing, it likely isn't getting enough power. I highly recommend using the included cable as I tested the Play with an Apple phone charger and it didn't receive enough power. Most TVs have a decent amount of power coming from the USB ports, but if you have issues, I would try using a dedicated power brick. I also tested the power coming from a laptop and it wasn't enough. Now with that out of the way, onto sources. The first is the built-in CEC control. This allows the play to be controlled by the remote of the TV that it is plugged into. Simply press the directional and center buttons to control which source you would like. But CEC is not created equally. Some TVs need the correct CEC setting enabled, or they simply don't play nicely with CEC devices at all. This is where most people get stuck. And you're probably thinking, well, what now? Don't worry, we're here to help. On to option two. If you're not familiar with bird dog devices, each of them has a GUI, or GUI, that can be accessed by typing the IP address of the unit into a computer that is on the same network. Bird dog also made it very easy to find the IP address of a play by having it display on the top left when no source is selected. Once you're in the GUI, navigate to the AV section and pick the source under the source tab and hit apply. The last and most advanced option is to use Bird Dog Central. With this software, you can see all the ins and outs of an NDI network and connect a source with its destination. With the sources section on the left, we can select the three dots to pick a source to add. With the destination section on the right, we can select the three dots to pick an output. We could then use the center router section and create groups for all sorts of flexibility. This is in no way the simplest method, but it gives you the most control of your play device and the rest of your NDI fleet. Now you know how to assign sources for the bird dog play. Simple, right? Well, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or reach out to us directly at sales at jbna.com. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.